Hello YouTube, sorry that I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've been in school and since I've been pretty busy, as you can see, this is my new desktop. I've, um, or wallpaper that is not like, I'm not using a desktop, I'm still using my laptop. Um, yeah, this is just to complement the Christmas spirit. But now it's the break, so I'm gonna make more videos now. Um, I decided to make this first video about two apps that I find are pretty helpful to me. And um, I would say that this video is more for people who are just switching to Mac because these are features that are, or these apps have features that are pretty common on Windows and just they're planning on the Mac for those who want these features. So again, these apps are not for everyone. And the, these two apps that I'm going to be talking about today, um, the first one is called uh, Write Zoom and the second is called Tua. Um, you could say these two apps give Windows features on the Mac. So first of all, it's right Zoom. So now let me show you the developer website, Safari. So uh, here it is, right Zoom. Oh, yeah, by the way, both of these apps are completely free, so you don't have to pay anything for these. So this is right Zoom. This is where you can download it. Yep, as you can see, reviews have been pretty good for this app, seeing that it's free and quite a large number of downloads, and it's pretty recently updated uh, probably for Snow Leopard so as you probably know that on Mac OS 10 there's this green button and it has this plus sign and when you press it it's supposed to maximize the whole window um, now a lot of people might say oh but on Mac you don't really have to maximize the whole display because usually you have multiple windows and you like them stacked on top of each other but this is for people who have um, perhaps a smaller display like me. I'm on a laptop, so I'd like to maximize the whole window um, yeah, to the display, as you can see here. So this app here, well, normally, I guess, when you press it, it does not maximize the whole window. It just, at least for Safari, it is. Um, it, max it maximizes however much space the website takes up. But what Bright Zoom does is it maximizes the whole display so for people who have laptops or smaller screens it's a lot easier for one thing I usually don't run it at startup I just run it um, when I need to on Mac OS 10 because for one thing Mac OS 10 remembers my window sizes so I just run it then and so let me run uh, right zoom okay first of all I'm gonna so this is the default this is what Safari does by default so at least for Safari, um, it fits to the whole page. So there's no horizontal scroll bar on the bottom. But let me turn on right zoom. Okay, so right zoom is on. Yeah, you can, nothing really shows. You can only see right zoom running in um, the ad activity monitor, which is a good and bad thing. But now I click it, and it goes to the whole window. So for those who want a maximized window, this app is pretty invaluable. And it's helped me quite a lot, especially when I'm using uh, applications like Word or things like that. Um, it's pretty useful. And the second app that I'm going to be talking about is called TwoUp. Now, as you probably know, a new feature in Windows 7 is where you can snap the windows to the side. So, for example, um, well, I can't really do it here, but so say you move it to here, this the right or left side, and the whole window actually moves to and the halves to that side as you can see in the picture and this app lets you do that but it's on the Mac so um, it's also I like the feature first of all on Windows because it's good for taking notes I can compare what's on the right and left side and let me turn on okay first of all I guess you download it here it's also free as you can see so two up and this one, on the other hand resides in the menu bar so it's pretty nice you can actually see it running and you can quit it which I do quit um, pretty often. I actually use this in accord, um, in addition with um, right zoom because once I have it, for example, on the left side, I use right zoom and it goes full window again. So let's say I want this on the left side. And see, it's on the left side now. And for example, I want a new Safari window. And then now it's on the right side. So I can move these two um, screen or windows independently and now you can compare to so for example if you have word or anything like that you can now run notes and seeing that right zoom is um, enabled 
I click this and it's full screen again oh and just a small note when you're running right zoom and you want to quit it all you have to do is go to activity monitor and you search for the right zoom uh, process and you just quit it it's pretty easy and for this one you just go there and you quit and in preferences you can actually configure the keyboard shortcut so for me it's command option left and right so that's what it does it also does up and down but I don't use that very often so I'm just gonna press this up down and then it's but with right zoom it goes back to the original so and in, in the end these are just two helpful apps um, that I don't use that frequently but when I do need them they're very useful and yep that's about it um, you can see me in my Twitter account which is pickle tweet and I also recently made a blogspot account where I put some reviews up and things like that so you're free to check that out as well um, you can see all the info on my uh, on my uh, profile page and lastly Merry Christmas YouTube season greetings and thanks for watching